My book is called Cubed, A Secret History of the Workplace. And it's a history of the office, what the office has been like, and why we feel the way we do about it. You know, behind the furniture and all that, you actually find social questions. The inventor of the cubicle was a man named Robert Probst. He invented this thing called the Action Office, which was actually meant to liberate office workers. Offices before that were sort of row after row of desks um, surrounded by corridor offices around the, the perimeter. And Robert Probst wanted to give people privacy and autonomy. Uh, but managers in the United States, when they saw it, realized that it was perfect for cramming more and more people into less and less space. And so over time, the action office became perverted, and people began to copy it and turn it into a kind of box. It became the cube. Neon lights, shimmering neon lights. One of the things that people hate about the office cubicle is that it sort of symbolizes its status. You have a cubicle and you're not, that is your place on the hierarchy, and the managers sort of know best. I think we should think hard about how we use space in these offices, especially when it's just, it costs so much to the planet to keep them air conditioned and lit and running constantly. You see office work kind of bleeding out into the city. People are doing it in cafes, they do it at home, they do it on, in airports. It's a weird punishment for a certain kind of liberation. Liberating work from the office has, has led to a, a totally new regime of of 24-7 work. <laughs>